Hey guys, Crown of the Ivory Kings out and this video is actually a little bit late because I was thinking they were gonna release it on Tuesday but they decided to release it on Monday instead. So yeah, I, I was kind of late on that. Anyway, maybe it's still helpful to you. This boss is the first boss you will fight. You can actually fight him uh, pretty much as soon as you enter the DLC area. However, unless you have a certain key item, he's invisible. Uh, it is possible to know where he is uh, while he's invisible by ground clutter and audio tells, but it's I I'm not sure if it's possible to beat him. Maybe someone who's more skilled than I am will be able to do so. Anyway, um, when he's visible, you will realize that he's pretty similar to the Royal Rat Authority, so you should fight him uh, the same way. When he jumps to you, uh, roll through him and stand between his hind legs and then unleash on him. He actually has some other abilities, two of which are not in this video. Uh, the first one is a basic explosion around him and the second one he spawns crystals around him that also will uh, do damage to you. These uh, abilities have a tell. Uh, he lowers his head and is stationary for a while and he will only do them while you are in melee range of him. In general, this boss is not very difficult because he's not aggressive enough. The Royal Rat Authority was difficult because he was aggressive and kept pressure on you at all times. This boss actually jumps away and casts those homing missiles that you have seen and that gives you ample time to heal up and recover.